friends, I'm Ollie, and today we're gonna learn all about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs lived a very long time ago during the Mesozoic era, which spanned approximately 180 million years. From the Triassic period, around 250 million years ago, through the Jurassic period, and up to the end of the Cretaceous period, about 66 million years ago. The word dinosaur means terrible lizard, reflecting their grand and formidable nature. All dinosaurs were reptiles, meaning that they laid eggs to reproduce. The name Tyrannosaurus rex, or T-Rex for short, means Tyrant Lizard King, suggesting with his formidable presence, he was king of the dinosaurs. T-Rex was an apex predator that lived during the late Cretaceous period about 68 to 66 million years ago in what is now North America. The T-Rex was a bipedal carnivore, meaning that he was a meat eater who walked on two legs. They measured up to 40 feet in length and could weigh as much as nine tons. Its strong jaws and serrated teeth were capable of biting through bone exerting a bite force estimated at over 12,000 pounds, the strongest of any animal ever. The Stegosaurus was a quadrupedal herbivore, meaning that they were plant eaters who walked on all four legs. Stegosaurus lived during the late Jurassic period, approximately 155 to 150 million years ago. Stegosaurus is known for its distinctive row of large, bony plates along its back and the spike tail. The name Stegosaurus means roofed lizard. Stegosaurus was a large dinosaur measuring around 30 feet in length and stood about 14 feet tall and could weigh up to seven tons. The plates along its back are thought to have been used for defense, but could have been used to cool down the Stegosaurus in the hot climate. Its powerful tail, which bore four long sharp spikes, could deliver devastating blows to potential attackers, providing Stegosaurus with a formidable means of protection. Triceratops, with its three horns, is one of the most recognizable and well-studied dinosaurs. They roam North America during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 68 to 66 million years ago. Its name means three-horned face. Additionally to the horns, it had a large bony frill at the back of its head, which extended over the neck. They likely served multiple purposes, including defense against predators like Tyrannosaurus rex. Triceratops was a large quadrupedal herbivore, measuring up to 30 feet in length and weighing between six to 12 tons, feeding primarily on low-lying plants. Spinosaurus, one of the most remarkable and enigmatic dinosaurs, lived during the Cretaceous period, approximately 112 to 93 million years ago. Its name, which means spine lizard, reflects the dinosaur's most striking feature, a sail-like structure on its back. Spinosaurus was a large theropod dinosaur, arguably one of the longest and largest, with estimates suggesting it reached lengths of up to 50 feet and weighed between seven to 20 tons. Its skull was elongated and crocodile-like, housing conical teeth ideal for catching fish. The long, narrow snout and retracted nostrils indicate adaptations for an aquatic lifestyle. Parasaurolophus was a bipedal herbivore, meaning that they were plant eaters who walked on two legs. Parasaurolophus lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 76 to 73 million years ago. This dinosaur is particularly noted for its long backward curving cranial crest. The exact function of the crest is not known, but it is thought that the crest may have acted as a resonating chamber, allowing Parasaurolophus to produce low frequency sounds for communication. These sounds could have been used to alert others of predators, establish territory, or attract mates. Parasaurolophus was a large dinosaur, reaching lengths of up to 33 feet and weighing around three tons. Brontosaurus, one of the most iconic dinosaurs, lived during the late Jurassic period, approximately 156 to 146 million years ago. The name Brontosaurus means thunder lizard. Brontosaurus was a gigantic sauropod, characterized by its long neck, 
massive body, and whip-like tail. It measured about 70 to 90 feet in length and weighed up to 15 tons. As a herbivore, Brontosaurus primarily fed on a variety of plant material. The long neck of Brontosaurus allowed it to reach high vegetation, making it an effective browser of trees and other tall plants. Velociraptor, often known simply as raptors, is one of the most well-known and intriguing dinosaurs. It lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 75 to 71 million years ago. Its name means swift thief, reflecting its agile and predatory nature. Velociraptor was a small to medium-sized dinosaur, measuring about six to seven feet in length, including its tail, and standing about 1.6 feet tall. One of the most distinctive features of Velociraptor is the large sickle-shaped claw on each hind foot. This retractable claw, which could grow up to 2.5 inches long, was likely used as a weapon to slash and puncture prey. Velociraptor was a carnivore, preying on small to medium-sized animals. It likely hunted in packs. Ankylosaurus is one of the most heavily armored dinosaurs that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 68 to 66 million years ago. The name Ankylosaurus means fused lizard, reflecting the dinosaur's distinctive bony armor plates that were fused to its skeleton for protection. Ankylosaurus was a large quadrupedal dinosaur that could reach lengths of up to 25 to 30 feet and weigh between four to eight tons. The tail of Ankylosaurus ended in a large bony club, which it could swing with considerable force. This club was likely used as a weapon against predators, such as the large theropod Tyrannosaurus rex, delivering powerful blows that could deter or injure attackers. The abrupt extinction of non-avian dinosaurs 66 million years ago marked the end of the Cretaceous period. The leading theory is that a catastrophic asteroid impact caused rapid environmental changes, leading to a mass extinction. This event marked the end of the Mesozoic era and paved the way for the rise of mammals and eventually humans. The study of dinosaurs, known as paleontology, has significantly evolved since the first dinosaur fossils were identified over 180 years ago. And that's it for dinosaurs with me, Ollie. Hey, can you spell my name with me? O-L-L-I-E, Ollie. Awesome job. Don't forget, if you want to learn about other things, be sure to like and subscribe below. See you next time on Ollie Learns. Bye.